Hi friends, welcome back. It's good to see you today. And I hope you've had a good day and a good week so far. We are looking forward to seeing you on Sunday as we begin the season of Lent uh, on the first Sunday of Lent. Of course, the season of Lent started on Ash Wednesday as we um, took on those ashes and prayed for uh, God's forgiveness and became really honest and clear about the ways that we need God's forgiveness and grace and help. And as we journey together over these six weeks as leading up to Easter, we will be focusing on following in the footsteps of Jesus. And we'll be doing that in worship, but also during these devotionals, um, because we know that the more closely we follow Jesus, the more closely we follow what he did and who he uh, befriended and who he went near and who he helped and how he reflected the love of God to others, the more closely we will grow in our love and relationship with God. And that really is what Lent is all about. It's about getting clear for our need for God and growing in love and trust and growing in the image of God so that we are ready for the great good news of Easter and for living new life, resurrection life, uh, that, that the risen Christ offers. So I hope you'll be journeying along with me and with us at First United. And um, today I want to share with you a prayer. It's from a little uh, Lenten devotional booklet called Thy Will Be Done by Justin Rossow, and he begins with this prayer, and I want to share it with you. Lord, teach me to pray as you did. Teacher, show me how to read scripture as you did. Master, shape my life of faith to resemble your trust in the Father's will. Jesus, as I journey through Lent with you, shape me into a disciple who depends on you more and more. And then I'll add, Lord, teach me to love as you love. That really is a description of what we will be doing together as we follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Um, and I hope that every day during Lent, you're finding ways to do that in your own spiritual practices, in your own life, in your own time spent with God, in what you take on for Lent as well as what you decide to give up. And as we think about that last sentence of that prayer, Lord, teach me to love as you love, of course, we have a very clear description of what that means, what that looks like, and what love does. And it comes from 1 Corinthians 13. Let me share it with you. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. Love is not rude, it does not, is not self-seeking, and it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always persevere perseveres. Love never fails. Another translation says love never ends. And that is true as well. That's the kind of love that Jesus calls us to live and to show and to uh, be shaped by. And that's the kind of love that we are hoping to grow within ourselves and to have God's Holy Spirit grow within us in these six weeks of Lent leading up to Easter. That's what it really means to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, because we know that uh, as he went about Galilee teaching and preaching and healing and meeting others where they were and inviting the outcast and the forgotten and the uh, those in need to come into the center of community with him and with God. Um, that's how he was expressing God's love. 
So I hope that you'll be journeying with us in these six weeks ahead. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on Sunday as we worship together and as we begin listening for the different ways that we are called to follow in the footsteps of the Master. Let's pray this prayer again together. Lord, teach me to pray as you did. Teacher, show me how to read scripture as you did. Master, shape my life of faith to resemble your trust in the Father's will. Jesus, as I journey through Lent with you, shape me into a disciple who depends on you more and more. And Lord, teach me how to love as you love. I just want to suggest one thing that we might do as a Lenten practice, including praying a prayer like that, Lord, teach me, show me, help me to follow. But that uh, scripture from 1 Corinthians 13 might be a wonderful daily examine, a, a way to end every day and go back through your day examining how you spoke, how you acted, how you thought, uh, the condition of your heart, and how you were able or not able to live love that day by using those words, love is patient, love is kind, love perseveres, love hopes, um, love is not envious or boastful or rude, love revels in the truth. If you use that every evening as a uh, an examination of your the condition of your soul and uh, the expression of love in your life. It might be a wonderful way for you to journey through these days of Lent and um, open yourself up to God to be shaped more and more in the image of God, which is love. Thanks, friends. I'll see you very soon. And I love you. Take care.